Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for class 12, IAC and West Bengal Board, Linear Regression Part 3. That means you have already got two lessons. You must go through that lesson, especially Part 1. There are terms and methods. Now, please pay your attention on the board. Sums given from ML Agarwal's book exercise to sum number 10. The following table shows the mean and standard deviation of the marks of maths and physics. Some you will get in your book and here also it is written clearly. Now pay your attention on the solution. What are given that we have to write first. Here arithmetic mean for maths that is x bar equal to 84 that is given. Arithmetic mean for physics that is bar y equal to 81. Standard deviation, deviation for maths delta x that is 7. And standard deviation for physics delta y equal to 4. And correlation coefficient that is r that is given in our question 0 0.86. Now we have to find out Estimate the likely marks in physics if the marks in maths are 92. This is given. So, regression coefficient regarding this we have to find out. Regression coefficient, this formula you will get in part 1 video. R into delta y by delta x. The, after writing the formula, the relevant values we have written here that is 0 0.86 and delta y that is 4 and delta x that is 7. After writing then by simplification we are getting 0 0.49. And again we have to estimate marks in physics if the marks in maths is given. Marks maths given we have to find out the marks in physics that is a regression equation y on x therefore regression equation y on x is this is the formula y minus y bar equal to b y x into x minus x bar after writing the formula relevant values bar y that is h1 and this uh, co regression coefficient that is 0 0.49 0 0.49 x minus bar x that is 84. After writing the relevant values, we have to simplify. Very simple simplification by looking the step, easily you will understand. We are getting y equal to 0 0.49 x plus 39.84. Now putting x equal to 92, x equal to 92 marks of maths. We get y equal to in place of x we are putting 92. After putting then we have to simplify very simple simplification from this we are getting y equal to 84.92. Thus if the marks in maths that is x is 92 then the most likely marks in physics is 84.92. If you follow the step, then easily you will understand. Very simple. Just you have to remember the formula and steps you have to follow attentively. Ishan and Jishnu, I think you will not feel any difficulties. And you must uh, tell your friends. Okay. Thank you, everybody.